Okay, let's keep going. We've got a few more of these. All right, so on the next one, we have uh, the integral from negative 1 to 1 of 2x minus 1 squared. Okay, so let's rewrite that bad boy as well. So that's going to be the integral from negative 1 to 1 of, I'm going to go ahead and square that out. So it's going to be 4x squared minus uh, if you do the box method or a FOIL method, whatever your teacher taught you way back in the day, and then plus one, dx, a parenthesis here, just kind of because I want, it kind of makes me nervous to leave it off. Uh, you probably don't need it, but uh, just so that there's no confusion. All right, so here we go. So the antiderivative of 4x cubed is going to be 4 thirds x cubed. I think I said cubed a second ago. That's squared. Minus 2x squared. Hopefully you're getting pretty good at those antiderivatives. Plus x. And we want this evaluated from negative 1 to 1. Be really careful here. So I'm substituting 1 in first. It's always the big F of B first. So that's going to be 4 thirds, 1 substituted in, minus 2 plus 1. And then subtract, substitute negative 1 in. So it's going to change this to negative 4 thirds. It's going to leave this alone, minus 2, and it's going to make that a negative 1. Okay, so remember we're subtracting here. So I'm going to have a 4 thirds minus a negative 4 thirds. So that's going to be adding. So that'll be 8 thirds. Okay, 2 minus negative 2 is, uh, sorry, 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 negative 2 minus negative 2. The squared didn't change the sign at all, so that's gone. So that's going to be a 0 right there in the middle of that. But this part, though, will be 1 minus negative 1, which is plus 2. So once again, without a calculator, that's 8 thirds plus uh, 6 thirds, also known as 14 thirds. Hmm. Smells like area on that. Because uh, I don't know if any of that is going to be dipping, dipping below the x-axis. I know it's not on our interval. All right, we'll talk about that later. All right, here we go. This one, the antiderivative of sine. Well, the derivative of cosine is negative sine, so the antiderivative then is going to be negative cosine. So I've got negative cosine. Be very careful on that. Remember what you're doing there. Uh, plus the antiderivative of 1 whenever x is your variable is x. I need this evaluated from 0 to pi, okay? And you can always double check by taking the derivative here. The derivative of negative cosine is sine, all right? So I've got negative, so a little parentheses here, negative cosine, this is a big F of B, okay? Minus a big F of 0. All right, so let's clean that up. So I've got negative pi minus negative pi. All right, so that's going to be, sorry, sorry, <laughs> negative, negative cosine minus negative cosine. Those cancel out. All right, and so uh, what am I even talking about? All right, let's evaluate that. The neg <laughs> negative cosine of pi. All right, so negative cosine of pi is going to be the x coordinate. Uh, so that's going to be negative, negative 1. So that's 1 plus pi. Lord of mercy, minus I, uh, negative uh, cosine 0. Cosine 0 is 1, so that's negative 1 plus 0. All right, now we're rolling. So I've got negative 1 minus negative 1, which is 2, and I've got pi minus nothing, which is pi. Whew, about made a mess out of that one. Okay, now on E, let's rewrite this one. So I've got the, uh, I got, if I'm going to do power rule, I've got to have a power. So I'm going to have uh, 1 to 8. All right, I've got the square root of 2, nothing I can do about that. So let's just leave that alone. Square root of 2, and then I've got x to the negative 1 half dx. Okay, so again, the square root of 2, just left it like it is. Uh, and then x to the negative 1 half. Now, if you like, you can factor out any any constant. So I might do that this time, just, you know, because I want to. So this is going to be the same as the square root of 2 times the integral of 1 to 8 of x to the negative 1 half dx. All right, this equals the square root of 2. And then uh, I'll go ahead and use brackets here since I've got something sitting there. All right, if I'm adding 1 to that uh, exponent, negative 1 half plus, a half, uh, plus 1 is a half. 
And if you divide by the same, right? And then now I'm evaluating that from one to eight. All right, so square root of two, I'm just gonna leave there. And then I'm gonna do my fundamental theorem within that uh, bracket there. So I've got eight, the uh, eight to the one half, hmm, might've been best to leave it alone, but whatever, it's all good. So uh, eight to the one half is two root two, and a square, square root of eight, let's go ahead and write it out. So I've got two square root of eight, all right? And then minus, and I'm substituting one in, well, one to any power is gonna be one minus two. Okay, now I will say, uh, maybe I should have left the square root of two there. I don't know. I'm feeling pretty good about it. So this would be, if I multiply the square root of two here, that'd be like the square root of 16. So I didn't really have to rewrite that as the square root uh, two times the square root of two. So square root of 16 is four, four times two is eight. But if I am uh, distributing here, then that's where I'm going to have two times the square root of two. Uh, let me back that, let me back that up. Back, 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 back. There we go. And then I'll have two times the square root of two. Sweet. Okay. Uh, on F. All right. Let's go ahead on F and simplify this one. Not simplify it, but rewrite it so that uh, it's going to be easier, easier for us to do the fundamental theorem. Uh, so right now, I'm not crazy about the fact that we have a fraction here. So I'm going to make it so that it's not. All right. Let me not skip any steps here. So it's going to be the integral from one to four. I'm going to divide both of the two things in the new, the terms in the numerator by the square root of x. dx. All right, so by the square root of x, square root of x. Still thinking about square root of 2 from the last problem. Okay, so that's going to be a 1 minus a half. So this is going to be the integral from 1 to 4. And then 1 minus a half is a half. So it'll be x to the 1 half minus 2x to the negative one-half dx, parentheses if you like. All right, so here we go. So fundamental theorem, add 1 to uh, that, divide by the same. So if I add 1 to that exponent, I get 3 over 2, divide by the same is 2 thirds, okay? Minus that minus sign right there. If I add 1 to that exponent, I get 1 half. If I divide by 1 half, that's like multiplying by 2, that is 4. And this is evaluated from 1 to 4. All right, so here we go. So that's equal to, all right, so I'm doing fundamental theorem right here, the subtraction that always happens, and now substitute four in. All right, so uh, I'm gonna run out of room if I'm not careful. All right, so times four to the three halves minus uh, four, and that's the square root of four, right? Square root of four. Okay, we'll do that in a second. And then one substitute in, in is a little bit easier. So I've got two thirds minus four because one substituted in uh, makes both of those powers of X just one. Okay, so let's clean this junk up. So I've got four, the two on the bottom is a square root. So I'm gonna go square root uh, of four, which is two, two cubed is eight. Eight times two is 16, this is 16 thirds. Minus, this is two, two times four is eight, all right? Gross. All right, but that's okay. We'll get that in just a second. And then minus over here, I guess I can go ahead and do this one. This is going to be uh, two thirds uh, minus 12 thirds. So two minus 12 is negative 10. So that's negative 10 thirds. All right. And let's keep going right here. This would be uh, 24 thirds. So 16 minus 24 is negative eight thirds minus negative 10 thirds, and that's going to be two thirds. Woo wee. That one was tough by hand, but uh, we got it. And I feel pretty good about it. I think everything's good. Uh, one little screw up right there. That was a square root of X, of course. And then uh, everything else just kind of fell into place. Yay.